function f is a function mapped from real numbers onto real numbers. If the <coughs> derivative of, exists at point a, and also, of course we require f of a not equal to zero because it's at the bottom. So we want to find out the limit of uh, f of a plus 1 over n over f of a to the power of n as n approaches infinity. So <coughs> to do that, we will of course take advantage of the fact that the derivative exists and see if we can somehow turn it into the form of derivative, especially when we have uh, the incremental increase in 1 over n as n approaches infinity. So that approaches 0. So first of all, we take the logarithm, of course, because it uh, has a power of n. So log of, uh, log of f of a plus 1 over n over f of a to the power of n equals <coughs> n times log of of course, log we have quotient, right? We take the difference of logarithm. So log of f of a plus 1 over n minus log, log of f a bracket, right? But then we can somehow put the n onto the bottom, right? Multiply by n is, is the same as if divided by 1 over n. I'm going to put 1 over n down here. All right, so that's uh, very close to the form of a derivative. Right? 1 over n approaches 0. All right, a, approaches, uh, a plus 1 over n approaches a. But the, the trouble is that we don't exactly have uh, f of a plus, right? We only wish we didn't have log. Right? Didn't have this log and that log. But somehow we can make it up. How do we, how do we make it up? Right? For example, if I put f of a plus 1 over n minus f of a, I obviously I have to divide by f of a plus 1 over n minus f of a. Right? Of course, I have to assume that f of a is bigger than 0, right? It's uh, not equal to 0. Now I assume it's bigger than 0. If it's smaller than 0, of course, we can, uh, we can add a negative sign, right? Negative, negative, right? Still canceled out. So negative f becomes positive. So in the end, it's still going to be the same result, right? So that doesn't matter. Now, uh, focus on this expression. So that, that means in this part we have exactly the form of derivative right, of, of f at the point a. But here, here but, but this part looks also familiar. Uh, even though uh, we have, don't exactly have uh, a, right? But here we have f of a treated as a whole entity. Right? If, for example, if I, if I let, if I let f of a plus 1 over n equal t sub x sub n, x sub n, so of course, it's uh, dependent on the value of n, of course. And also the f of a equal x naught, x is a fixed number. Obviously, as n approaches infinity, x0 approaches, xn approaches x0. Right? So in other words, we actually have log of, <coughs> log of x0 minus log, xn minus log of x0 right? over xn minus x naught, right? This looks exactly the, the derivative form of log of x right? multiplied by f of a plus one over n minus f of a over one over n. Right? But this part is easy to deal with. So this part is actually the, but now the 
Now the concern is that here xn approaches x0 in the manner of discrete manner instead of a di continuous manner, right? Because I say it's a uh, discrete manner because it's n is natural number. Uh, usually we use a continuous manner right? as x approaches x0, right? continuously approaching x0. So is it still the same as a normal derivative? I say high knee proposition. Tiny proposition assure, uh, assures that yes, as long as uh, this limit exists, then for any real sequence that's approaching x naught, it's the same result. Uh, it's an equivalent statement. So that's fine. So this is actually will approach the uh, derivative of log x at the point x naught. Right. So in fact, this will approach okay. the derivative of log log x at the point of x naught. But the derivative of log x is just one over n right when x here when x is equal to x naught. But what's what's x naught? It's already a fixed number, right? I denote it as FA. Okay. Right. So no problem, right? Derivative, uh, derivative of log log of x at at this point, right? This fixed number. And also this will approach just for the same reason, right? Derivative at derivative of f at a. So in the end, in the end, well, of course, it's log. So we have to uh, use right? so log of this thing approaches this over that, right? So f prime of a of f of a. Right, this is the result of log of this thing approach that which means the inside right the inside expression should approach e to the e to the f prime of a over f of a right, like i said like if f of a is smaller than zero fine right just replace this with Negative, negative, negative. Then let negative f f of a becomes g of a, still positive. Right, so we have g g prime of a f g g of a, right? Negative, right? There's still negative coming. G prime of a still gonna have to. Uh, there is a negative sign coming out. So negative, negative, still still positive. So it's the same reason, right? Same result.